A 53-year-old Bulawayo woman has been sentenced to 12 months in prison for unlawful possession of unregistered medicines. Daisy Zungura was arrested on March 18 at Nkulumani bus terminus in Bulawayo following a tip-off. The police found her selling her wares at a vending store, wherein they identified themselves. Upon searching her handbag, they discovered various unregistered medicines. Another person involved in the omen trafficking scandal has been sentenced to 30 years imprisonment by a Harare magistrate for several counts of human trafficking. Brief facts are that sometime between December 2021 and August 2022, Caroline Ziyanga recruited a number of unsuspecting victims, misrepresenting to them that they were being recruited for a job in Dubai. She lured the unsuspecting job seekers through a fake job advert coupled with lucrative salaries ranging from 500 to 800 US dollars and good working conditions. The victims only found out that they had been scammed when they found themselves in Oman instead of Dubai. They were subjected to harsh working conditions in Oman where they worked as housemaids. An 18-year-old man was sentenced to 15 years imprisonment by a Marondera magistrate after he was convicted for raping his 9-year-old niece. The state proved that sometime in October 2023, the accused person was left in the custody of the complainant and the two other children. The accused person proceeded to rape the complainant as she was bathing. He also raped her in the same month in the spare bedroom at their home. On the 20th of February 2024 in Chihota, the accused person raped the complainant again in the dining room. The matter came to light when the complainant's mother heard her crying. The complainant later narrated the ordeal to her mother and the matter was reported to the police. Police in Lupane have arrested a man that had terrorized the community, targeting women whom he would rob and rape. Kolwane Ngwenya, aged 41, of Holomoka village, under Chief Mabikwa, is facing two counts of robbery and another of rape. He appeared before Lupane resident magistrate Barbara Piri, who remanded him in custody to this Thursday, where he should appear at the Wange Regional Court. Ngwenya was advised to apply to the High Court for bail. Allegations are that Ngwenya would arm himself with an axe and waylay people whom he would threaten to attack before robbing them. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Pazetian Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.